Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I want to cover um, a topic that I cover many times already. It's uh, basically this polyline viewer. So polyline viewer has gone through many iterations. And the latest one is actually really cool because um, you can create actual curve and then do the bevel as well simply by using the same nodes. So let's get started. Basically, you can start with a line, for example. If you plug the vertices of line node into polyline viewer or PV, you're gonna get a line. And this thing is actually a curve object in Blender. So it's real curve, not mesh. Um, if you need this to be a mesh, you need to convert it into a mesh or you can also convert into grease pencil, but that's for later. So let's, um, what can we do with the line? So you can increase the number of points. You can change the size. Or these days you can actually use noise displays and then displace it as you like. In the past, you can actually use randomizer. So randomize actually doing the same thing. It simply add randomizations. The thing about curve is that you can also use turn it into B spline so it's become like a smooth smooth curve and you can increase it. So that's with randomize. But we're gonna be maybe using just noise displays because we have more control and this is um, also you have a lot of noise that you can use to displace the curve. The more resolution you have, if you turn off the B spline, you get the actual curve. And yeah, this is basically it. It's fine and dandy, but you can you can do so much more, especially when you start to play around with the the radius and the ready and the twist. So the twist is interesting. Uh, maybe we can try that later. So the bevel, okay, this bevel object is really cool, right? Because you can practically use another line nodes. Let's save this very quickly, just in case. So PV advance, another line node, and then we can have another polyline viewer. Make sure the name is actually different. So this is gonna be the bevel. If the name is the same as the other one it's gonna clash so okay line plug in so we have another curve here that we can simply plug into the bevel objects we can see right away that it doesn't work that's because this guy needs to be um, zero out in radius and yep so it seems to be working now so a simple line right you can center the line into the origin so now it's exactly centered and then beveled into the other curve this guy so yeah that's pretty cool and we can also play around with the twist and let's see so this line is useful handy what else we can do we can increase the number of points here so practically this bevel is like like a sweep you have like a shape and then you sweep over it so if we have a circle if i'm not wrong and then close the circle that's basically like like a proper sweep this is the actual circle and this is the sweep over so this means you can use also n gone and sweep over this guy. You can randomize the end gone. So yeah, very, very powerful. And this is just a basic curve. It's actually, if you are using other 3D package like Maya or Houdini, this is one of the basic. But the fact that you can do it in Blender is really, really powerful and you can use, okay, so let's go back to before I delete anything. Get back to this guy. So 
line okay back to line and then if we use a uh, randomize or noise displays for here we can turn off close so we have like a, some kind of ribbon that we can scale using the noise matrix let's see if we can do something that's we can make something that's interesting so ribbon so this is actually already kind of nice in the past i actually made something totally random if we use vector noise plug in the line into this noise this generates like some random noise actually yeah and then if you plug this in you get this and this is already kind of interesting looking so you don't need line actually you use random vector points plug into this guy and then you use randomizer so there's a lot of things you can do turn on this line what's probably you think um, missing is maybe let's see uh, resampling okay resampling is actually very very useful so you at some point in time you probably want to resample the line somehow and that's actually something that can be explained very clearly if you are using grease pencil so i'm gonna i'm gonna draw a grease pencil select grease pencil and then draw something okay random grease pencil we have this grease pencil object and then if we search for gp we have this macro that will take the grease pencil drawing and we actually have this method of resampling over here so that's resampling the grease pencil and now if you plug this into our if you plug this vertices into our polyline you can turn this into drawing uh, i mean yeah, this is i mean this is the noise displays right we don't need to displace this guy we can scale this down to zero but i like to add noise on top of my grease pencil and then on top of this we have this resampling method it's very powerful really really powerful and yeah that's basically a lot of things a lot of notes i talk about but it's a, it's a lot of techniques um but they're all very powerful and you can use it as you need so just now okay that's for the noise displays and this guy we can actually use the normal okay vector is better use the cell noise I have a feeling that this bevel there's something that I missed here with the line if we use actually randomize on this line we can have something that's a little bit more random oh yeah because because this bevel line actually needs to be under certain threshold certain space otherwise the bevel doesn't work completely anyway with something like this you can just duplicate it convert into mesh now oh before i do that let's go back this is the curve right like i said you want to turn on use uv for mapping so it has uv now you duplicate it convert it into mesh now that's it is a mesh it also already have uv map 
and you can use solidify now that this is solid double sided you can export it as AR and you can give it a texture or something so file export GLB include selected objects apply modifier if you like export GLTF now go to reality converter now this should be an AR ready and we want to use some kind of texture material default converted material okay it has a default that's good that's the bamboo um, I'm using the latest Mac OS beta so there is a bug you can't see the changes although this thing if I export it as CSDZ file export SDZ save these guys should have material and you can just export it into your iPhone, uh, iPhone. Oh, the, the, P, the P4 is slightly wrong, but you get the idea. Zoom in, or just drag and drop it. So this is something that I'm hoping that can be done on the iPad itself in the future. If we have, if we can run Blender on the iPad, it's going to be pretty awesome. All right, so that's the whole techniques, right? I give to you all. Um, you can apply different texture along the UV. Um, this is really powerful. I, in the past, I call this like a wrist pencil graffiti, but really the all the curve, everything is using the polyline viewer. All right, thanks again for tuning in. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.